Hello, I'm Richard with EV for You Custom Conversions. And in this episode, we're gonna have a little kind of mishmash of different things to show you. We're gonna go for a little ride in our battery-operated bug, and uh, first time that we've done that on video since 2010, and uh, give you some updates on what we're up to this year and so forth. So let me introduce Bob. Bob, our battery operated bug, was first converted in 2009 and then uh, restored to his present appearance in 2010. He was on the show circuit 2009, 10, 11, and 12. Then last year, Bob took a break in uh, Carbon, Carmen uh, did the shows and was out and about and so uh, you know people kind of get tired of seeing the same old thing so we mix it up a little bit well this year Bob's gonna be out and about again uh, the one exception I can think of off the top of my head is uh, Laguna Seca for the refuel event Carmen will be back for that with her uh, uh, upgraded Avnetics controller Hope to have fun there again. So we'll do a little walk around, give you a little overview of, uh, of Bob for those of you that are new viewers. And, but if you go back uh, to some of our older videos, you'll see him. Um, if he looks a little bit lighter, that's because he is. He's uh, almost 500 pounds lighter than he used to be. When originally converted, uh, he was a lead acid conversion with a 792 pound lead acid pack. Today he sports a lithium uh, pack that weighs uh, 308 pounds, uh, which is 484 pounds lighter than original. So anyway, we'll do a little overview and then we're gonna take a little trip. We're actually gonna retrace uh, a, uh, a path that we took back in 2010 when he was first restored. Uh, we're going to go up uh, to an overview that uh, gives you a view of the three Shastas, Shasta Lake, Shasta Dam, and Mount Shasta. And in doing so, we're going to pull a 6% grade, uh, which pulled with ease uh, back in 2010. Now that he's been on a diet, uh, pulling that 6% grade should be uh, even less of an issue. We'll just whiz up that like it's not even there. So come along with us and let's, uh, let's check out Bob both uh, sitting in the back of the shop here and on the road. Hope you join us. Well here's, here's Bob. He's a fairly unique bug in that he features two and a half inch wider fiberglass fenders front and rear with a uh, matching fiberglass running board. He's got, uh, I don't remember the size, but he's got one size uh, tire and wheel in the front and a larger one in the rear. He features a paint job and body work done by Artistic Paint and Body in Redding, California. And it's a, a color that matched a uh, S10 pickup that we had, but it's not a Chevrolet color. Uh, the pickup had been repainted, and so the uh, color was actually a Mitsubishi color, and uh, we had to match that color, and uh, it uh, came out rather nice. Uh, he's won awards for his paint job. He's won. Uh, all sorts of awards from best engineered to best of show. Good looking little bug. Don't let the tailpipes fool you. That's just uh, our sense of humor in that you can have an electric car that doesn't look any different than any other vehicle yet we don't uh, burn any fuel 
and uh, we don't make any noise. Let's take a look. That what makes her go. This is kind of what we're known for. The clean and simple engine compartments uh, that are enclosed. Notice uh, you don't see the ground in there. It's a little bit dirty. He's been sitting for more than not for the last year. Just going home for lunch and that kind of thing once in a while. But uh, like I said, he took a year off from the event circuit. Used to be that you could see the uh, the batteries. The uh, battery compartments had clear polycarbonate tops, which they still do. We've just covered them with uh, with fabric, and we did that because uh, the lead acid didn't mind the sun being on them much, but the lithium does. Again, kind of our humorous side. Instrumentation in the dash. And then like we showed in a previous video, under the dash, we added the JLD 404. So we keep tabs, that's basically our fuel gauge. And since I drive uh, you know, a lot of the same places all the time, uh, I very seldom look at that. I know about what I should have based on where I've been. Um, but we do need to keep tabs uh, in the big picture. So there's that. But when you look at the dash, it's not you know, I got to get back here quite a ways before it's even noticeable. And when the door's closed, you don't really see it. It's uh, out of the way. All you see are the analog gauges, which kind of match the rest of the vehicle, which is what we were going for. So what we're going to do is we're going to mount a couple GoPros in here, and we'll uh, we'll go for that little ride I was telling you about, and uh, stay with us.